The Rolly Shoals, 300 kilometres off the coast of Broome in the north of WA, are a chain of coral atolls that have a special place in the hearts of those lucky enough to have visited. Within Australia and WA particularly, the Rolly Shoals is one of the most diverse locations for coral reefs. While other coral reefs have been badly damaged by coral bleaching, the high sea temperatures that caused the problem have always missed the Rolly Shoals. But all that changed in April this year. One of them even had 60% um, coral bleaching. So overall we thought that this was one of the worst coral bleaching events on record. When the scientists returned later this year to reassess the damage, they were shocked again. But this time, it was a happy surprise. There was a decline in coral cover for some sites where others showed less than 1% mortality. It was surprising uh, and it also has been teaching us that if a bleaching event is short-lived, the corals can recover. Research scientist Dr Tom Holmes says that coral recovering from coral bleaching is unusual. In this case, what we feel happened was the actual hot water event that caused the bleaching um, was only very short-lived. Uh, and so immediately following that, um, the pressure on those corals actually was released, um, which probably saved them to some extent. It's a great relief for the scientists and the tourism charter boats that make the trip out to the remote location. But Dr Holmes says that unless drastic action is taken to stop the climate from warming, even the Rolly Shoals will eventually be permanently damaged. At the moment we're tracking some significant warming up there again already this year. It's, it's extremely sad to watch this happening, I guess, in a lifespan. The coral has recovered this time, but as the climate continues to warm, all coral reefs face an uncertain future. Ben Collins, ABC News, Broome.